This episode is sponsored by Badass Beef. Grass-fed beef jerky with no lips or assholes. Find them at your Coastal Connection in Belfast. And please support us by becoming a Patreon subscriber. Click the link down below for more information. You Adam? I'm Bud, get in. Okay, so here's the deal. We get onto the site at about 8.30. Then we stop and twist one up at 10. We work until 1, then we go home for lunch, roll up another jibber and watch my favorite soap. Now I realize that we do things different than those mainland operations you used to. So if you don't think you can handle it, well, then you probably won't fit in on our team. Oh, no problem. Christ, I almost forgot the most important smoky break of the day. Before we get on to the site. You ever try sea hash? Uh, no, what's that? Well, it's just what it sounds. A bale that washed ashore from some smuggling boat out in the bay. It's rich in chloride ions from being immersed in salt water. <laughs> <coughs> Tastes like fucking burnt rubber, but it'll get you wet. You want some? Ah, uh, no thanks. Huh. Not a team player. Not a good sign, Bob. Oh, pay no mind to that freaking degenerate. That's just my ex-father-in-law, Critter. He's on break from the boatyard, so he's working with us this week. He's a lazy old cat, so don't be shy about reporting back to me if you catch him slacking. Bounce in, you son of a bitch. What do you expect for $7.50 an hour? <laughs> Whoops, fucking woodchuck. All right, Chumley. Time to make some primer. Start mixing up all this old paint with the new stuff. Shit's been sitting in my basement for 15 years, but the fucking dump Nazis won't let me chuck it out because there ain't paint recycling day. Whatever kind of bunny-hugging fucking drum circle jerking shit that is. Waste not, want not, I say. So you gotta help me find the stream. The good of humanity. God damn it, first day on the job and you're already fucking daydreaming, Adam? Shit cost me five ninety nine at Family Dollar. How's the job coming? All right. Should be done sometime this weekend. Well... We need it to be done before this weekend because we have guests coming for an afternoon nautical buffet on the harbor. Tell them about the bathroom, Garth. Yes, there were wavy lines where you painted behind the toilet. We really can't have wavy lines because... Yes, I got the note you left. So you understand that leaving your tools in the bedroom... Unacceptable. Yes, I got that note too. Oh, and one more thing. We've just had the rug shampooed, so the house is off limits. Hey, boss, how'd you end up on this ungodly crew? What are you, a student or something? Yeah, well, I was. I got kicked out, but I'm hoping I can reapply because I want to finish my history field. Well, boss, when you do get back to school, I want you to do well. And I ain't talking about grades if you're catching my drift. I'm talking about getting your horn scraped. <laughs> <laughs> Christ, let me tell you something. If I was a young fellow like you, I'd be out behind the bounty tab and get my horn scraped every night. <laughs> horn scrape? <laughs> Jesus, what is you ignorant boy? I'm talking about pussy! pussy! God damn it, you knock it off, you dirty old son of a bitch. If I keep you out here any longer, you're going to start lowering the property values, and I can't afford to get thrown off another job. Grab the chainsaw start clearing the walking trail down to the beach. You're banished to the woods. Shit. Same one that been spacking funny. Last time I gave her a hot supper and almost caught the whole fucking island on fire. Yep. She do spack funny. Now you go and fetch it, you old dried up genital blister. Jesus. Honey is a bait truck and ain't no fixing it. Now could you trim a little off the end of this clabbard? It's just about a red cunt hair too big to fit. How much? Oh, for Christ's sake, guy. Didn't you learn about measurements in your fancy school? Here. (laughs) 
You said we would have this place ready for our first annual Butters Gala. When I sent out the invitations, I expected to have this place repainted and the walking trail down to the yacht launch ready for the guests. And you hired back these derelicts. But all the other contractors are book solid. I'm sorry, Bunny Love. I just don't have time to squabble over this. I have some consultant work to attend to and I'm missing a very important board meeting. Good morning, gentlemen. Now, I'm glad... Give her some! <laughs> I'm glad that at least some of you were able to make it for this emergency board meeting. My apologies, Miss Dean. You see, I have tradesmen working on the house and... Is this about the Listeria outbreak? No, no, no! I bear good news! I present to you Lisa Dean's precious pot! You see, friends, the lobsters may be booming now, but with a changing climate and an uncertain market, you never know when the bubble will pop, and that's why we need to diversify. Maine, in all its splendor. From our rocky coast to the great north woods, for generations, Maine's hardworking cannabis farmers have cultivated some of the most sought-after and dankest marijuana in the land. Here at Lisa Dean's Precious Pot, we procure only the finest organic, locally harvested buds, like Heritage Burnham Red Eye from the rolling hills of central Maine, Mother of Berries from the majestic western foothills, and Islesboro Afghani plucked from the salty, sea-kissed shores of Penobscot Bay. Wild blueberry essence coalescing passionately with playful floral overtones. Lisa Dean's Precious Pot. It's mean and it's precious. Light alert! Gentlemen, we're on the cusp of seizing a massive share of the $7 billion illicit drug market. We're talking artisan, farm to bowl bistros for the cannabis tourists and retail chains on every block for the local plebeians. Precious pot? I'm sorry, Ms. Dean, are you out of your mind? And are you aware that Maine is about to legalize recreational marijuana? A majority of voters support it, and we'll know in just months the result of the referendum. Gentlemen, this will be a game changer. I'm sorry, Ms. Dean. I must attend to something urgent. So, anyone have any thoughts on where we could find this old hippie? He holds the key to our success. Take it hard, boss! God damn it! Looks like we got an environmental situation, boss. You know, I got me an old Russian long load skit I could wrestle up. She's a bit rough for wear, but don't she go and can't I drive her? Clear an acre of wood in an hour. Bring that, she's still got some nut in her. Fucking throttle down and feed her, Bob! <sighs> Fucking clutch rod slipped out. Heft up that there crowbar and I'll knock her back in. What damn Jesus. Jesus, I think something just come uncunted, boss. I'm about to come uncunted in about half a second. Now quit dubbing around and fetch my extra pair of skivvies. Isn't there any other caretaker available on this goddamn island? Relax, we got it covered. I always keep a spare pair in the glove box for emergencies. 
Now don't you worry about that gazebo. We'll have it fixed up in a jiffy. You, you destroyed my gazebo. You know you got ship pokes in the pond out back. Ship pokes? What are you even talking about? Yeah, they've been snapping up all the fish. I'll just get my vomit gun. What did he say? I don't know something about a vomit gun. <laughs> Take that, you sons of whores! <laughs> Shit. Miss a little bastard. Hey, what the hell are you doing? I told you there were ship folks in the pond, just trying to help you out. Those beautiful herons. Get out of here! Take your tools and get out! I don't give a fucking Ted. Hey, aren't ship pokes endangered? Just them two in the pond. <laughs> well, looks like that's it for us today. Every time I see those wavy paint brush lines behind the toilet, I cry. You want to mix up a couple Appleton mimosas and watch the bold and the beautiful? Sure, I got nothing else to do today. All right, then. <laughs> We got another millionaire mansion to do later this week. <coughs> They're a little less cunty, so we should get in a whole day's work. Goddamn friggin' New York friggin' money bags. Well, since I'm a little late for work on the caretaking side, I might as well set you up on a little side project. I hope you don't mind getting your hands sticky, because you're on trimming duty. If we pull this one off, our days of slaving for the summer folks are over. Now, you ready to give it to a fucking hide? Ah, oh, shit. Now, fetch me a twisted tea. You're still on the clock, chumley. Now, where'd Peckhead go? Critter! 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 Enjoy the drive!